all right mid tier gambling which to me is between 150k to 1 million basically from a nerk mid to can you buy in a shop today and use it okay then high tier obviously means you have to buy it on the trading post or an auction over a million okay let's start with the golden standard nerk mids everyone knows what a nerk mid is they know what it does and they know you can always sell a paintbrush all right pretty straightforward there's a five percent chance to get a paintbrush the fairy is useless gross food useless nerk mid reuse it or sell it five percent chance all right just so you're crystal clear on what a nerk mid doesn't give is super important. You cannot get these paintbrushes from the machine. You can't get a lost desert. You can't get the fairy and a few of these other pet pet ones. Not super critical. All right. Obviously, you can get the 150 ones. All right. So there's 103 paintbrushes you can receive here okay so the first thing you want to know here what's the medium price what's the average middle price of a paintbrush and i just did the math before there's 103 you drop to 950 you get about 50. so the average paintbrush here is worth 950k all right so as you guys know you need five percent on average, you're spending 3.6 million to get an average paintbrush worth 950. And in case you miss it less than in math, you just divide 950 by 3.6 million. You're getting back 26% <laughs> of your value gambling here. And this is actually surprisingly a decent form of gambling in Neopets because very few people they can go from a 200k nerk mid to having a 10 million item so let's go forward to the other items all right so these crackers you gotta go okay they look pretty cool pretty look what are they about there is nothing good in these crackers you're just buying the cracker to own the physical cracker they all have the same stuff in it there's no difference no rare nothing unique nothing rare it's just you want to have collected all four of these older items all right armored neg once again get it from the battle dome fighting that robot nothing good inside here some people want to raise their pets defense sure go for it all right bar bat how are we gonna beg this has just been sent to the moon for some no some unknown reason but so you're guaranteed two items all right black fur witch and you just hit inflation mania okay so one two three four five six seven two out of seven you want to risk it for a million and then down here you have a chance to receive nothing important so the thing about the thing you gotta understand about colored pet pets is unless it's one of the top 25 where a random player who's been playing for a few years could recognize and name it. Like, oh, that's a Kadoti. I know what that is. That's a Baba. I know what that is. Like, unless an average player can name it, people aren't going to buy it unless for some reason they love that niche pet pet. Selling rare colored pet pets is super hard to do. Like, if you want to go down that train, you can, but just see, like right now it says that it's 900K. You couldn't find one. Let's see if we can find one on just the shop wizard, because my guess is probably no. So it's over a million. So this doesn't even qualify for this video, but living our best life. All right. Bonju trick or treat bag. 275. Nothing valuable here. You're on a prayer to get a Shanku silhouette background. So this is just a complete waste of your time and money. So one of four has to give you this exact item to be profitable. <laughs> so once again, waste of time. You see me open these 300K, pretty generic. You need to get one of these three items. And I opened this a while back and I got two of these, didn't sell. A couple months ago, I got a chocolate stamp. It took about three weeks to sell. So even these with a chance at profit, 
it just takes a long time to sell and no one wants to open these. If I just search here quickly, if I could just click my wizard, they're going to be here. And every so often you can snipe one for super cheap, but yeah, they're just, <laughs> no one wants to open them because no one wants to buy these items. If it looks too too good to be true, it's because it is. All right, Colts and Shrine account rule. 300k, one to two items. Once again, if it always says like one to two, and you don't see some giant number here, you know it's a waste of your time. 300k, the best item is a chance at 440. What a waste of time. Just so heavily inflated for no good reason. Yeah, you can just sell. Someone tried to push it up here to try to sell this some sucker. Probably someone like me. One item, okay? Let's spend 445k to get an item worth 1,000, 2,000. All for a chance at a vampiric blade, which, granted, is an actual cosmetic, but just buy it. <laughs> like, don't open up whatever five or four and a half of these to get that useless item. Not, not useless, but just not worth the trouble. Edna, once again, one item, 200k. There's nothing valuable in these first things. They all overlap. If you just click on these, all these bags overlap on this generic table. So I probably won't show this table with the front page. It's all the same stuff, all bullshit. And then you'll find a few books here or a wearable for your pet, maybe a book. But it's just like all these books, all, all these books, all these things here are very the same thing. Two items, you might get a book or a background, but it's 600 kid. There's just no way to make profit here. It's like one out of 100 is profitable or break even. What a waste. 170K, same thing. Another book. Okay, Christmas crackers. You just have to know crackers are a waste of time. Don't buy it. When you see something go up in price by literally, <laughs> it's, it's old value was 300K. It's tripled in value and it has not a single thing worth value in it. I'm curious if we search this item. These are all the same crackers again, which I'm not going to show you guys. A waste of time. But if we just go take a little peek here, probably you're going to see some person owns like 18 of them. Oh, well, not the case. But once again, this is aren't going to sell. Let's just take a look at the shop. Got the crackers, huge store, tons of items like reseller mania. It's just so frustrating to see. We don't care about those. Let's look at these. Okay. 217k. One shit like, as you're probably noticing by now, there are just, it's very few items worth opening. Once again, a million to get an item worth less than a million. Ghostly trick or treat bag. You saw me try my hardest. Like I said, there is a dream here to make money, but it's extremely low, extremely rare. So yes, and these are also super heavily inflated. Like once again, you could you could have bought this a year ago for two million, and now it costs five times the price. These bags are all about the same. It just this is why you don't see me gamble with too many mid-tier items, just because there isn't any value or profit to be made. Unless you want to have the chance to risk at what, like a chance to hit this bottom table is what, 5%, 10%? There's just nothing here worth your time. That's why everyone likes Nurk mids. It's go-to, it's safe and stable. This is also useless. Paying a million dollars to get a card, and how many cards are worth 25,000? None. <clears throat> wow. One to three cards. You can never, you can never break value there or break even. You see me open these before, I think. Yeah, actually, I was going to, but it's just a chance to get a Halloween PB, which is close to between 2.7 and 3 million, depending on the day. But one item and a chance to get that. So, I'm pretty sure you can buy these still just because people just know what time it is. They know the math. Like, if you're going to open it, you can just search for it. But, nope. Bought up and gone. If there's just 
if it's a low supply, people can inflate it. It's going to be inflated. Just look at a few more here, but these are all these bags are exactly the same. One item. They all share the same thing. That's a super expensive item. But yeah, just all they want to do is inflate. If someone if someone will see it's rare, they will try and inflate it. The, the trick you to believe it's worth money just isn't worth it. It's just just stick to the stick to old faithful. You know what a Nerkman does. You know what a paintbrush does. People like paintbrushes. People like to paint their pets. Once again, a book here, 250k. So unless it's one in three, unless you were guaranteed one of these per paintbrush, that's the only chance you could have to break even. A million for two items. Oh, well, let's get let's pretend to open one. Okay, you got 10k and 1900. Cool. And roll a dice, and if you roll like a one, you get an item, and roll one of these. What a waste of money. You're just paying for the actual physical cosmetic item on the outside. Multar trick or treat bag. Same thing. Is this actually a generic neg? Or it, okay, worth five neg points. <clears throat> Looks kind of cool. I'm not going to lie, I do like a various amount of negs in the game just because as a kid, they were just were so cool and you knew what it was. But a Multar background, that's what you're here for. You know that's useless, okay. I think this is interesting because, oh nope, I lied. The charity corner items are super interesting, but I've never played when they've been active. But 200k to get an item worth at best 4k. Trash. <clears throat> Mystery Island, two items. Once again, nothing. Another rare neg here, a book, one to two. I'll believe it when I see it. If there's a good price here, maybe I'll buy one or two for my weekend video of wasting 10 million. 500k. So yeah. <laughs> I sh like if I wanted to be more thorough, I could check the actual in-depth prices. So that, like, what is this gonna sell for a million? You think? Nope. 800k. Because people, people just blow it up, right? As long as they someone holds the holds a door and they buy four or five a week, it's worth 300k. Once again, just always inflated. Slowly, people open it, all goes down. <clears throat> no profit to be made here. All right, so this goodie bag, I think, is actually purchasable right now on the super shop. Which you can tell by these strange not one numbers that you're going to find they're only owned by resellers. This guy's got five. Let's check out his store, this door. So this guy's clearly opening these items or he's just buying the rare collectibles. <clears throat> this is just the reality of what Neopets is in 2023. This guy bought... The whole market i guarantee there were some that were super below 900k but he'll buy them all this one probably the same thing this guy's 132. so once again there's just people who just decide i am gonna own the market and they will try their damnedest to do it <clears throat> sad to see but so what's in here for a million one to three so you could just get one, two, three, make 90K out of a million. You could get a birthday angel puss, which probably is buyable. Some people like the birthday Neopets because they're pretty unique. And if you get only a few a year, but yeah, look at that. So once again, these people buy up the market. If someone posts like, if I would open, if I would open this and get it, post for 900K, they'd probably buy it because they want the full market. No one likes this weird looking pig. 200. And they only come from these goodie bags. Know that. <laughs> yep, 900k. So yeah, you can open this and maybe break even, but that just really isn't... If you If you want something on this list, just buy it. 
way simpler, straightforward. All right, let's move down. This costs over a million. I'll save that for the next video. Patch stocking. We know these crackers are worthless. Same thing. These three items. These stockings, all four share. Same, the same. Three items you want. So yeah, it's all the same thing. You can all catch on. This is 180k at a chance to get a few of the generic Nurk mids. You get zero to one. You can get zero. And there's one Nurk mid, two Nurk mid, and three. So yeah. Do you like the three out of whatever 40? Complete money sink. Red's the exact same thing, I think, with the Yusukis. There, there'll be like one or two that get inflated where you can believe you're going to make money. They overlap in the goodie bag. Yusuke goodie bags are hard to get a hold of. <laughs> I can tell you that. All right. This is, they're all the same. They're all the same bag. All this changed the very bottom three items. It's all the same. Two items worth nothing. Silhouette background. Silhouette backgrounds definitely do sell quite well. I can tell you that. So I bought one of these for one of my pets. 200k. One to two. You'd have to literally hit one of these two and something good here to make profit. Spooky Halloween bag. Once again, it has... I open up a few of these. Unless you get the Meow Clops, the booster pack, this, and people just... Oh, let's, can we inflate it? Yes, we can. Let's see. So yeah, look at this. Literally worthless this time last year or like 15 months ago. If the game continues on this path, it's going to get out of control. You know what? I'll buy it for 40k. I know what that comes out of, so I know this guy's been opening these. So he's probably losing his mind. But yeah, so yeah, should, like watch, should I buy these two and try and resell them as just a bit of an experiment? Sure, let's try it. So he has the goodie bags. Wow, this guy has a super, you know what? Let's check it out here. Did this guy lose his mind and lose the plot? Yeah, this guy has given up on the plot. And... Maybe I'll open them. Maybe I'm going to resell them. I don't know. But yeah, this is the thing about doing these videos. Is sometimes you just find out some guy has just been... Wanted to have fun. And then he lost he lost his ass in Neo Points. And he's like, fine. I'm done. I've had my fun. Goodbye. And that's what it is. I think this might be a book he got from a rare bag. But nope. Ooh. There he is. Yep. I'm going to read my pet that, but yeah, it's basically, that's what happens. Like you realize that you open them and just, there isn't really any market or value. So you just, just get rid of it. I'm done. I'm tired. Don't show it to me. But yeah, that's how life is sometimes. Really like, that's why I just can't open other items for you guys because there's just nothing to value. People will just buy them out and they'll just try and slowly pretend to find someone like me, like a sucker, and go from there. <clears throat> All right. Uh, you've seen the stocking. We go the same thing. One to two, and then yeah, so. No one probably ever looked for these books, but yeah, if you're ever looking to find a bit of a profit, like I just had, like you can just see sometimes people just. They, they've they given up on <laughs> the dark side of Neopets. Anytime you see an inflated item here, just take the time, look, and there might be someone who just, just gave up. But nope, this guy clearly boosted it up, and then people have been opening it, and he has to go bottle, bite up again. But as you can see, he has the money. He doesn't care. When you have 200 million Neo points, you don't care if you make 500k today, 3 million tomorrow, you lose money today, no one cares.
So, and we can add a few Yusuke bags. The old Yusuke bags, completely worthless. And the old goodie bags. They're all... They were just as a fun little, like, year's ending. Have some fun. 740k. Nothing. And a chance at a plushie. Halloween rainbow plushie and a book. So once again, like, just stick to the Nerk mids. Oh, I clicked that twice. It's not erased it for some reason. I don't know why it's not doing that. Oh, I... So it's unbuyable. Someone just said, I will I will change the market. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Yusuke bag here. Two items cost you over a million. Just unless you know someone who wants it or needs it. Yeah, these old things, yeah. You get one or two items, no value back here ever. So yeah, I've, these are actually relatively profitable. I've opened a few of them. I have this in my gallery because I opened it up. But yeah, the newest Yusuke bags, you can kind of hold profit. You can get, you can get one to three, I think. But yeah, if you get lucky, you get lucky. But once again, this is why you don't see me opening up very many things at this value price outside of Nerk mids. Because you're just going to... There's no excitement. Like, at least with a Nerk mid, you could get a paintbrush worth 100k, 1 million, 3, 5, 10. That's fun. That's exciting. We all get Nerk mids. We all play premium. We all explore the game. But this is why I avoid it. And that's why you see me try to focus on... Nerk mids, low value, and an extremely low amount, if I can get my hands on them, over 1 million, which will do high tier, I guess, sometime next week. So have a good day. Avoid wasting money gambling here. Just buy the item. Search the shops. Try and make profit. There's people who are going to inflate the prices. Just see if you can catch on to them and make a bit of profit. Because, yeah, I snagged a few items here. And... Have a good day.